So today I'm gonna review this uh, robot by um, A11OS Sub Zero. So check their channel out. Um, I'm gonna go over what's good about this, what's bad about this, and how to counter um, this type of robot in an actual match. Um, so to first start out with the good, um, this robot can hold 44 on its own, but it, like total capacity is 64. Like if you just put it. Um, on top of each other without the intake. So what's good about this is because during a match you can take all the um, the opponent's blocks and just run around the entire match because yeah the, the opponent won't be able to score anything so it's kind of a free win if your alliance partner can score anything too. Um, so that's the big reason, that's the main reason why this robot is built and the strategy behind that. Now, there is, there's actually quite a quite, um, few negatives here. Um, if you can see, this does look pretty flimsy. Yeah, it looks pretty flimsy for sure. Um, so if you run into it, saw stuff like might bent or break or something um another bad thing is that you can't score which i mean you give up scoring for taking all the opponent's blocks and just storing them but at the same time you can't score so you have to factor that in and um also like when you're when you're in a match um, you could get blocked, like, you could get, or, I mean, sorry, um, when you're in a match, it, this is gonna be hard to park, so you're gonna give up that 8 points, possibly because, um, they said that it's, it's possible, but it's very hard to do it, so, in reality, you're probably not getting those 8 to 30 points for parking, so you're giving up that as well, those bonus points. Now, how... If you come across this type of robot, how are you supposed to counter this during an actual match? Now I have um, a couple ways on how you can do this. First is that um, there there uh, gonna be a lot of blocks stacked up in this net here, so you could just run into the robot and blocks just fall out, and you can take those up. Um, in a match, also, when you come across this, have one person, um, just in its way, grabbing the blocks before it can do it itself, and trying to push those away, and trying to, just basically, you do not want this robot to pick up any of your blocks before you do, especially if there's an area with a lot, and, um, yeah, because that's main thing you you're gonna have to spend a lot of time on this robot but they give a parking and scoring so in a match this can be scary but I think it can definitely be counterable and you can definitely beat this for sure if you know those tips um, so overall I think this robot is a pretty good design I mean for first design is pretty well but um, it's hoarding like robot at, at its maximum um, and we'll see how teams like how many t teams build a hoarding robot but it, it's a pretty good hoarding robot design it's just can't score can't park so you're giving up a lot of points but at the same time you're taking away opponents points so it can work out for you but it can be counterable so if you're gonna build a robot like this I would keep those um, factors in mind and uh, also on the VEX game menu it also states that if teams abuse or like abuse uh, the no possession limit to the point where it doesn't make the game fun anymore they're gonna take that away so if you build a robot like this and they take the rule away you're gonna have to rebuild and that's gonna cost you a lot of time so also keep that in the back of your head if you're gonna do this but um uh, I wouldn't be, it's definitely a frightening look, but I wouldn't be too scared of it. You know those tips on how to counter during a match, because it can definitely be counterable. 
And um, if you want any more uh, robot design, like um, analyst uh, breakdowns like this, um, just tell me in the comments of what robot you want and I, and I might do it. Um, and if you just want to watch more of this, uh, subscribe and like, and, uh, thanks for watching.